Right. My last question. How do you measure your self growth after every season? Uh, that's pretty tough. I mean, at the beginning of each season, I pretty much have, have goals written down, you know, like we used to do, like right. we want to win 20 plus games a season. So personally, I have goals written down Um, and I kind of do it in a broad sense of like a year, year, mm -hmm. year's worth. But then I break it down month by month. And then what does that look by week, week by week? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, I also break down like the growth of my players. So it, obviously everybody has a position group. Yeah. So statistically, did my player get better and did their numbers increase from last year? You know what I mean? It's just it's just so much that you can do and you can measure in order to, um, you know, kind of measure your growth. Even from like a professional development standpoint, mm -hmm. like, okay, I'm really good at the defensive side. I want to tap into the offensive side and, you know, do something different and kind of stretch myself because eventually everybody wants to be a head coach, mm -hmm. you know, and that, that idea may change along the way, but just everybody needs to be well-rounded um, and kind of touch every aspect of the game. Mm -hmm. So you will know what that looks like and, and feels like when you become a head coach. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you so much for your time, sharing all the insight and everything. And I really uh, look forward to seeing you this year in the SEC. You know, I'm rooting for you always. And I'm just I'm just elated to see how you're going to adapt and be. I know you're going to be great. I know your team going to be great. I know Coach Yo going to get y'all right. So I just look forward to y'all being in the SEC and stuff. We also play LSU in Alabama this year. So we're going to get a little taste of the SEC ourselves in the preseason. So it's going to be exciting and everything. Yeah, I mean, I'm excited for you. But I want to ask you questions now. So yeah. obviously being a player, right, and going through your four years, and now you're on the grad assistant side of it, you're on the professional side of it. What was the biggest the biggest adjustment from being a player to being on the other side of the ball? I would say like um, my time management. I would say it being a coach and being on this side, it made me look at things differently. It made me see my coaches differently because I see how much work the coaches have to put in, you know, us mm -hmm. we, student athlete, we just, okay, we go to our classes. We show up when they tell us to do something like we're, everything is scheduled. And mm -hmm. as a coach, like you might have a deadline to get something done, but it's more so like I need it done even before that, or it's just, it's just different getting to see everything more so raw and in effect to me than more so like a player side where it's just like, okay, you go to practice. Okay. You go to waste, but you see how practice is designed. You see what we, while we're doing this defensive thing this week, or, you know, just the scout and then all the information overload that I see now as a coach is different than how I would see as a player. Now I understand why y'all was so hard on me or why everything matters showing up on time, everything. So I think having all of those abilities as an athlete instilled in me, now sitting on the coaching side is just now like, man, like this is what I want to teach my players that was so important. And it's like just more attention to detail type stuff. Yeah. So obviously, you know, coming in um, from high school to college, time management is a big, big thing. And a right. lot of freshmen don't really recognize that until like they complete a season. Right. right. Mm -hmm. Now, on the same side of that, as a freshman, your schedule, like you said, is kind of broken down. We tell you what to do, when to do it, what time to show up to everything, right? But on the coaching side, you pretty much don't have nobody holding your hand telling you right. what to do, where to go, when to be there. So having to pretty much monitor your time while also making time for yourself can kind of be hard. Can you speak on what it's like your first year there mm -hmm. to – try to manage your time and also try to have time for what you like outside of basketball and outside of work. Ooh, that is a good one. I don't know if I necessarily just handled all of that well. Like I, it was kind of a little bit more on the draining side for me because like, I'm such a high energy person. Like I'm always turned out yada, yada, yada. But then like when I get low, like I just like to be by myself and it's not, not like that when you got road game swings and you got to be around somebody for four or five days, you know, and it was just different having to always be around at the office all day or just different things all day to where mm -hmm. being a player, okay, you go to practice, okay, you go and have your long time or you go and do this and have long time. 
So it was definitely different trying to juggle that. But like I said, now this year, even more than ever, I've been having uh, to regulate my time. And I understand, okay, this is my chill time. Okay, this is when I need to really focus on doing some work. And so that's that's kind of how I'm managing my time now and more so regulating my feelings. Okay, like, I'm tired. Let me just take a nap instead of pushing through when I can just take a nap. Okay, get up and do it. Like, more so not being such a workaholic, I would say. Yeah. Okay. Well, obviously, you know, you have us, you have everybody who coached you that that can really help you through it. So anything you need, obviously you can reach out. Uh, mm -hmm. I guess my last question for you is just me being in the business, obviously, you know, working for different head coaches, you obviously can take away from each head coach, right? Things that you like and things that you uh, would leave behind. What's one thing that you say that you like that you would take to a program if you were to be named the head coach tomorrow? Definitely. It's crazy. A fast tempo offense. Um, I used to be a person that was like, okay, everybody slow down, run plays. Like that's kind of how it was at Lamar a little bit, like run plays, like all this different stuff. But being at Murray State, we like to play fast. And so I think the fast tempo offense kind of give players, you know, if you have the right players for that uh, advantage, because people aren't used to playing fast. People aren't used to going boom, boom, boom. And so it's different for people to scout and have to work on. And so I just think that's a great offense. And, of course, I always love defense. So just being able to play, like, press, you know, having those players in shape and all that different stuff. So pressing and also playing fast, almost like kind of how Marshall and GCU coach and all them had them going. So I just kind of more so uh, the plays, X's and O's, I think that's more so what I would probably try to bring in and learn Okay. So since you've kind of seen like the coaching side of it, mm -hmm. uh, you know, what, what would you want to start in? Like after you finish with your uh, grad assistant, like, would you want to be a recruiting coordinator? You know, what, what would you want to focus on? Definitely player development. Um, Here at Murray State, I do a lot of like the individual workouts, group workouts, just different stuff like that, film sessions. And I really like that. I like being a uh, close to the players and stuff like that, being able to help them out uh, mentally and also physically helping their game. So I always love it when I teach them moves and they go out and practice and do it. It makes me feel like a proud mom moment, but I just, uh, I really like the player development side and different stuff like that. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, listen, anything you need workout wise, scout wise, you know, I got you. It's nothing. I know. I know. Thank you so much, Coach Davenport. I appreciate it. Of course. Let me know if you need anything. All right, we'll do. All right.